but I just want to tell her in front of uh, millions of people all over the country that I love her very much. Danny DeVito and his wife Rhea Perlman have been married for 40 years. However, the couple had broken up and gotten back together so many times that for a while, it was hard to keep track of whether or not they were even still married. But despite their decades of marriage together, they've been separated since 2017. As it turns out, the most surprising news of all is that they're still married, and they have no plans to get a divorce. In fact, they're actually happily separated. And I'm really close and uh, actually still together. We're just like, uh, separate. Get comfortable for this one, juicers, because we're going to take a deep dive into Danny DeVito's marriage, his womanizing ways that drove Rhea to a breaking point, and why getting a divorce is not an option. DeVito and Perlman met back in 1971 at the performance of the play The Shrinking Bride. Danny featured in the play along with one of Rhea's good friends. When the pair were introduced to each other after the performance, their attraction was pretty much instant. So different, so unique. Uh, from anything that I've ever done before. Rhea came to the show, and Rhea saw me. DeVito reminisced about the first night they met. After the show, Danny shared that they went out to get some food and hung out a little bit. I really dug her. The actor gushed, and Rhea agreed the feeling was mutual. Perlman said that she was smitten with DeVito as soon as she saw him on stage. She said, I had to meet him immediately. I asked my friend if he had a girlfriend, and she said no. I came on to him big time. We were instant, she swooned. We spent all night talking, DeVito continued. And finally, I asked her for her phone number, and it was a Brooklyn number. So that cinched it right there. Just two weeks later, the couple had moved in together. Danny and Rhea went on to work on quite a few projects together, including the sitcom Taxi, where DeVito played the abusive cab dispatcher, and Perlman had a reoccurring role as his on slash off girlfriend. But we can't forget to mention their most iconic work together in the classic Matilda, where the couple was cast as the terrible Wormwood parents. It's hard to miss Danny and Rhea's chemistry, and you can see that they had such a great time working together. As the years went by, things only got better for the couple. Uh, you know, we've been together, we've been together for 40 years. Bro. Right. 40 years is a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After being together for 11 years, the couple got married in 1982, and it didn't take long for them to start a family of their own. Danny and Rhea welcomed their first daughter, Lucy, just one year after being married. The couple went on to grow their family even more when they had another two children, Grace in 1985 and Jake in 1987. They were a fabulous family of five. Danny's career soared as he took on roles that propelled him further into Hollywood success. It seemed as though things couldn't get any better. At the beginning of 2012, DeVito and his wife had been together for around 40 years. When he was asked if he and Rhea were soulmates, he responded, Oh yeah, that kind of thing. Good friends, best friends. We talk to each other every day. We Skype, all of it. Just a few months later, the couple made the shocking announcement that they were going to be separating. What's more, the reason for their split seemed to be Danny's problematic womanizing ways that were beginning to take their toll on their marriage. It's safe to say that fans were shocked. However, according to some insiders, the split wasn't as unexpected as people thought. It turns out that the last 10 years of their marriage had been hanging by a thread due to Danny's flirty and inappropriate ways. There's Danny DeVito. There's Danny DeVito. Nice. No. Rhea had reached a breaking point and could no longer tolerate her husband's wandering eye. A source close to the family shared, He may not appear to be a ladies' man, but Danny certainly gets a lot of female attention. Danny can be quite the flirt, and because of his powerful status in Hollywood, he's not ashamed to abuse his position and chat up young, aspiring women looking to make it in the industry. According to the source, even though DeVito has an on-screen reputation as a harmless, funny guy, he was allegedly quite the womanizer. Like a lot of red-blooded males, if he sees an attractive girl in a coffee shop or walking down the street, he will give her the eye. The source continued to explain that after Rhea had been turning a blind eye to his behavior for years, she finally snapped. She had enough of his bad boy behavior and wanted to end their marriage. The breakup has been on the cards for a long time, probably over 10 years, because they haven't been happy for a long, long time, the source confessed. In his interview before they announced their split, it's possible that DeVito may have been hinting that things hadn't been easy in his marriage. We go through ups and downs, but if there is more there than what you normally think of as romance, you can stick it out with each other forever. 
Perhaps the actor knew that despite the tough time in his marriage, he and Rhea would be working things out eventually. Surprisingly enough, it was Danny's good friend Michael Douglas that did his best to get them back together. According to reports, Douglas told DeVito that he would never find another woman like Rhea to make him happy, and that he should do whatever it takes to get her back. What Michael said seemed to work, because in 2013, the couple got back together. Sadly, his pep talk didn't work for very long, because Danny and Rhea separated again in 2017, and that time, it was for good. So the bad news was that they had separated, but the good news was that they were happily separated and weren't planning on getting a divorce. Who would have ever thought that was even possible? For Rhea, she explained that there was no point in ending things with Danny officially because they have so much history together, and she truly loves him. The actress said of her relationship, I'm not getting divorced. No, no, no. What for? We do live separately. We see each other a lot too. Danny and I have always loved each other, and we have three amazing children together. We really agree on almost everything important. She added that they agreed on almost everything important and that they had been together for 40 years and sometimes it's okay if your partner has to go and do something else. Rhea explained that things between them were much better now that all the tense stuff is gone, adding that he's not in her face and she's not in his. However, the actress did confess that their separation had been difficult for their children at first. There was a hard transition and for the kids and everything, but but everybody's smoothed out. Everybody's got a good relationship with Danny and with me and with each other. And that's all we care about. You that's know, awesome. Our Rhea even said that she and Danny speak very often and they didn't want to have to ruin the friendship that they have now with all the yucky things that come with the divorce. And the Palm Star also said that they talk very often these days. Danny shared, we're friends, we're happy. Everybody's happy. I get to see everybody. I see Rhea, I see the kids. I just live apart. It is clear that DeVito and Perlman have a very special relationship, and that has not changed even though they are now separated. In some ways, the couple has said they are even stronger now that they live separately and are just friends. It seems that while things were difficult initially, now the pair have settled into the separation and are doing much better. Their personal relationship is not what most people expect from a separated couple, but it works for them, and that is what really matters. Even though things in their marriage didn't work out while they were together, they were able to find a middle ground and respect their marriage and their family by living separate lives. We all know that relationships aren't perfect, and marriages are hard work, but there also aren't any written rules on how to make a marriage work. Some couples need to customize their relationships for themselves and figure out whatever works for them and makes them happy. It seems like Danny and Rhea did just that. After 40 years together, they learned that they were better as friends rather than lovers, but they have such deep respect for one another that they decided to part ways peacefully and in their own way. We can't help but love them just a little bit more for that.